Hey everyone, Andrew here, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to use Docker containers with GitHub Actions. If you haven't worked with it before, GitHub Actions is a built-in CI-CD platform on GitHub that lets you automate tasks by running jobs as code updates are added to your repo. Why use Docker with this though? Well, I build my blog using GitHub Actions, but there's a few specific requirements that my static site compiler needs. It's easier to use a container image that I've put together with every requirement pre-installed. There's two main ways to use Docker with Actions. The first is that we can run a whole job inside of a container, or we can use a container as a single step of a job. And I'll show you an example of both. For the whole job, let's say that we have a PHP project. So we have this class file here, and I want to run my automated test suite, which I have in this test directory, with PHP unit, which I have required in my composer JSON file here. Now I've already gone and created a sample GitHub workflow file. It's a YAML file in a .github workflows directory, and right now it doesn't do anything. But what I want to be able to do is spin up a Docker container that runs our test suite as a whole job. So we've already specified that on push, this starts running the jobs down here. We only have one job though right now, it's run tests. And now what we need to do is provide a container to run those tests on. So underneath runs on Ubuntu latest, which is kind of the de facto standard for GitHub Actions, we can specify a container to run it on. Now you could just specify the container that you want right here. So in our case, I'm going to be running this on Composer's latest container, but the problem is, is we need to pass in some additional configuration to this, because as it stands right now, this won't have access to our code. So instead of container just being a string, it's going to be a subset of more attributes. Our image though is going to be composer latest, so that's the Docker image that we'll be using to build this container. And then we need to specify some volumes to actually push data from this local environment into the composer container. Now in Docker, the first value is the folder in our local environment, and then separated by a colon to the directory inside of the container that we want to have this attached to. For us, we'll just have a directory called my app, and it will connect to the root app folder inside of the composer container, which is where that container's working directory is located. And now we move on to the steps underneath of the container, which is where we tell the job what to actually do during it. So we'll give a name to the step we need to take first. The first one for this should be running composer install. Since our vendor directory isn't available inside of the GitHub repo, and we just pass in a run attribute with the commands that we need to install through this container. And for us, that's just composer install. Now we need to specify a second step in this job, and that's running PHP unit. So now we can just run from the vendor directory that we have installed in bin, PHP unit, and tests, passing in the directory where our tests lie, which is in this test directory in our app. Okay, so that should complete everything that we need, Let's go ahead and save this and commit it and see if our action runs. All right, if we head over to our actions tab, we can see that our action seems to have failed. If we click on it, we see that we have an error. Composer could not find a composer JSON file in our application directory. And the reason for this is because by default, our GitHub repos source is not actually available to the workflow unless we check it out in it. So we need to go back and add some additional steps into our workflow. So before we run this composer install command, we need to have our app's source available in this directory that we specified. So first, we'll add a new step at the top here, and we'll just call it check out the repo, and it's going to use a GitHub Actions action. Actions, check out, at version two. And what that's going to do is check out the contents of the repo in the current directory. Now we don't actually know what that directory is, it's kind of automatically created based on your repo's name. Instead of remembering that and adding it into this volume, what we can do instead is change this directory and use one of the variables provided by GitHub Actions. So using the dollar sign and two curly brackets, we can echo out github.workspace and that will take the current directory that we are right now in and attach it to that app directory in the composer container. Let's go ahead and commit these changes and see what happens now. All right, so now let's check out our Actions tab. And it looks like our workflow is now running successfully. So we have a check mark on here, and we can see that it initialized the containers. It then checked out our repo, ran Composer install successfully, but most importantly, it ran PHP unit, and all three tests came through successfully, which is what we want. Now this whole job has passed, and we only need to use one Docker container instead of specifying both the Composer install and the PHP unit run. Okay, now what about the individual jobs? 
Going back to my previous example, I said that I use GitHub Actions with Docker on my site compilation, and it's true. I'm using Docker to compile my site assets, but I'm only using it in one specific step of my job. I just want a container that handles taking raw source files and spits out compiled assets. Then GitHub itself will handle the deployment and everything else. Now I went ahead and created another example repo for this, and it's a PHP project that has both composer dependencies and NPM requirements. If we go into this resources directory here, we have some JavaScript and CSS assets that need to be compiled. And we have some content here that needs to be reduced down to an HTML file using PHP in the form of a static site generator. Now opening up the source code for this, we already have a compile assets workflow that I've created. But right now all it's doing is checking out the repo. So we are getting the source from GitHub and we are putting it into the current directory inside of this project. What I need to do now though is create a new step to run a Docker container and compile the assets. And for the uses, instead of specifying an action here, we're going to specify Docker as a protocol and then specify the container image we're going to use. In our case, that's my Hmelion Cleaver latest image, which is what this static site generator is built off of. This image contains PHP and Node, so it allows us to use Composer and NPM, which allows me to compile these assets that we need using a single image. And now we specify with, which takes in a series of arguments, which are added into our Docker run line. I'm going to make this multi-line so it's easier to read. And in our case, first we need to set the volume mount, like before, to the GitHub workspace directory. And we're setting that to var www, which is the working directory for this container up here. And then we're running bin shc in order to pass a list of commands to this container. We want those to be composer install, npm install, and npm run production to install the dependencies and then finally compile the assets into a directory. Now normally I would use that directory and then push it up to a production server, but in this example I just want to verify that our compiled assets are there. So I'll create a new step called verify assets and all it's going to do is run lsl on a disk directory which should only be there if the compiled assets ran through successfully. So alright, let's save this, commit it to the repo, and see it in action. Okay, if we go and take a look at our actions, well, it looks like it failed. And we can see that the verify assets, it, their directory doesn't exist, which means that our assets didn't compile. Scrolling through here, I can identify the problem. Even though we're passing it in the arguments, our custom commands aren't running. So we can use this method to run a Docker container, but not if we need additional arguments set at the end of it, like these here. We can get around this though, using a different action. So instead of using the docker protocol here, we can use add nab docker run action at v3. In that with attribute, it takes an image, so our cleaver container from earlier, and an options string, which acts as our arguments from earlier. So volume mount to the GitHub workspace directory, to var www and then run which specifies the commands that we want to run on this container composer install npm install and npm run production whoops forgot a colon here so now if we go ahead and commit this one let's see if this runs now all right let's go ahead and look at our actions now and it looks like this ran through successfully if we take a look at our compile assets job and the verify assets we can see our disk directory does exist, and it contains our compiled assets from our workflow. So the Docker container ran successfully in this one step, using the custom commands that we provided it. Alright, I think that about wraps it up. You've learned how to use a Docker container to run an entire job in GitHub Actions, or use container images to just run specific steps of a much larger job. As always, if you have any questions about this or any other web development topics, please feel free to reach out to me on Twitter or in the comments below. Thanks for watching.